Well, the thing... The Christ, I've left the iron on. Hello, Control. Uh, Control? Are you all right? You appear to be taking your pulse. I'm a Russian spy, Tony. That's what I am. <laughs> I beg your pardon? I plan to overthrow the Queen. <laughs> Control, this is a bit of a surprise. <laughs> all the more so because you're actually the head of British intelligence. <laughs> I aim to undermine our entire Western way of life. Hmm. Well, before you do that, Control, I'd better go and telephone the relevant authorities. Uh, and as a precaution, please don't open any more letters. <laughs> Tony, I'm not really a Russian spy. Well, now, Control, you mustn't say that just to spare me the paperwork. <laughs> but honestly, Tony, I'm not. And you were right. I was taking my pulse. Well, I thought so, because you appeared to be gripping your wrist lightly but firmly and counting to yourself. <laughs> you see, the Americans have come up with a new machine called a lie detector that helps you find out whether somebody's telling a fib. Surely that would be quite useful for people in our line of work control. Exactly. It's based on the well-known scientific principle that when you tell a fib, your pulse speeds up. Gosh! How ingenious, but at the same time, how quite simple. <laughs> Sadly enough, the machines are rather expensive to buy. Oh dear. <laughs> Our American counterparts do often seem to have more money to spend than we do, don't they, Control? But Tony, I often say what we lack in money, we more than make up for in British know-how. <laughs> I'm not quite following you, Control. At a fraction of the cost, I've come up with this lie detector. Of course, a stopwatch. It cuts out the need for expensive and cumbersome equipment. That's quite right. I was telling a deliberate fib when I told you that I was a Russian agent. Ah! You wanted to see if your pulse got faster. That's right. Did it? No. <laughs> oh dear. If your pulse didn't speed up, that must mean... Yes. When I said I was a Russian spy, I must have been telling the truth. So, on the very first try of this technique, you've discovered that you, the head of British intelligence, are actually a Soviet agent. Yes. And Tony, the minister will be ever so pleased. Don't you think we ought to test the technique again, just to make certain? Yes. It wouldn't be a very good idea to go around the place boasting that we've discovered that I'm a top Soviet agent if we weren't absolutely certain. My thoughts exactly, Control. Right. You tell me a fib this time and I'll see if your pulse speeds up. Right. I've got to think of something that isn't true. <laughs> oh, yes, I know. My name is Susan Donovan. <laughs> well, that seems to prove it. Really? Yes, Susan, really. <laughs> mm. Control? Susie? <laughs> Why don't we go back to our old method? You mean... Yes. The good old British Secret Service way of finding out if someone's telling you a fib or not. All right. You first. Right. Is your name Tony Murchison? Yes. Cubs honour. Right. My turn. Are you a Russian spy? I am not a Russian spy. Cross my heart and hope to die. Phew. Well, I'm glad we got that one sorted out. Mm. Tell you what, Control. What, Tony? I'm going to bring you a cup of nice coffee now. <laughs> and Control, mm. that's the truth. Oh.